What's going on guys? So today we're going to do a quick review on uh, the traditional longboard versus what I like to call, I guess you can go, the, the get around town little zip zinger. I'm going to list my five favorite things that I like about the zip zinger compared to the longboard. So we're going to go with the pros first. So pros is simply size, like half the size of a longboard. I mean, literally, I mean, being able to strap this on your backpack, walk to wherever you want to go, take it out of your backpack, go ride. This will look awkward as hell on a backpack. So that's the first thing. Second thing would by far have to be, I mean, I get you can get a longboard like this with a tail and a nose that's actually curvatured like a real skateboard, but that'd be my second favorite thing about a little zip zinger. It's, it's, it feels like a skateboard with actual longboard wheels. Yeah, you could go and take a regular skateboard and put longboard wheels on it, but I think that having this kind of shape, size, it's just, I don't know, it just feels just, my third favorite thing on this board would have to be the weight. It literally weighs nothing. Like, I'd have to say five pounds, six pounds, compared to this thing, which is like an easy 10 or 12 pounds. It's like, at this point, you might as well add on an extra six pounds and get an electric longboard. But that'd be the third thing, is by far, is the weight. And once again, size comes with it being lighter. Another thing that I like about this board for my number four on the list would be that you can actually ride it like a skateboard. You can go to any skate park, do you could do flip tricks, you could do, I mean, you could do literally almost anything you could do on a skateboard just as well on this. I mean, given a skateboard's always gonna be a lot easier than this, it's a skateboard compared to a, a, a little mini longboard zip zinger. Oh, so the fifth thing that I like about this would have to be the cost. Obviously, less wood equals less material equals less money. So this board ran, I think, 60 bucks by itself, just the board. And it's, it's what is it, a seven ply, eight ply? Ply is the amount of layers that the actual wood has inside of the board. But I think that it being this cheap, I mean, I can have two of these in case I were to break this instead of having one of these. I think this board costs around 90 to hundred dollars just for the board, maybe even 120 bucks. I don't remember what I paid. I paid a hundred bucks for just the board itself and then wheels and bearings and all that other stuff was like another hundred or something like that. But cost, this is the more cost effective route to actually go. I'll list the cons on this. I'm gonna try to list three. I don't know if I have three to list on this, but we'll give it a go. So the one thing I don't like about the Zip Singer is it doesn't feel like it doesn't give you that longboardy vibe. Like when you get on this, you could feel like you're carving like a surfboard. Not that I've ever surfed, but I've ridden enough board sports, wakeboarding, wake skating to, to know what the feeling of carving is like, especially snowboarding. This gives you that sensation that this will just never be able to do for you. All right, the second and third con, I'm just gonna combine into one because I don't really have three, I have two. The second con would be the stability when it comes to speed wobbles. These trucks being just as tight as these trucks I don't know if it's the shorter wheelbase when it comes to, you know, the actual wheelbase on the, the, the board, but you get speed wobbles a lot easier than you do on this one. Noted, I've eaten shit super bad, which I'll be posting at the end of this video. Super bad on this board. Ended up getting a horrible concussion. But anyways, yeah, that, that's a separate issue. And, um, but I, I, the speed wobbles on this just does not compare to how much stability you have on this board. So that's the only two cons I have with this board onto the longboard. So oh, starting off with the longboard, my first pro for this board would, shut up! Pro for the longboard would have to be the stability factor. The second you hop on this thing, you just feel like it's almost impossible to fall off unless you've never been on a board or done any kind of board sport in your life. The stability, the stability on this board is awesome. You can have your feet hanging 10, you can have your feet in the back. It just feels like you're not gonna flip, you're not gonna roll, you're not gonna roll. You're just, it's just solid. It's just like, it feels planted. Second thing I would have to say that I like about this board, uh, I don't really like this board, but if I had to say a second thing that I liked about a log board would be the carving aspect of it. Okay, so, if you're a snowboarder, a wakeboarder, you do any kind of board sport that, that just has a carving in it, this, with loose truck, is just, with loose trucks, let me fix my grammar there, with loose trucks, is just awesome. Like, it is the closest thing you can get to doing a winter sport or a summer sport on the water while on concrete. So, when it comes to carving, this takes the cake 10 times out of 10. I don't care how loose those trucks are on a zinger, 
this will always give you that satisfactory feeling of snowboarding or wakeboarding or, or whatnot. So third and last thing I like about this, I couldn't fit five things in because I don't have really five things that I like about this. The third thing though would be the speed factor. So with tight trucks and a steep enough hill, I've gotten this thing up to I think 33 miles an hour without eating shit. And holy crap does it feel it, it feels great. Yeah, there's those people that carve mountains going 70, 75 miles an hour. Would I love to do that? Yeah. Would I like to be strapped in and also have extremely large amount of padding? Absolutely. Padding. Let me fix my grammar right there. Padding. So, yeah, speed factor on this is 10 times out of 10 way better than the little zip zinger. So, if you're trying to go fast and you're not in a little tight city area or anything like that, this is the board for you. All right. So, at first step, you get onto the board. It feels stable. It's got some good flex in it, it's made out of bamboo, and that's probably another part of the reason why it's so expensive, but um, when I typically ride these, I keep my foot right behind the front bolts, so I feel that's the way I feel the most stable when I go to, go to skate, so we're going to go take it for a little test ride. Alright, so we got the Top Speed app, or Top Speed app, what is it even called? It's called GPS Speed app. It's going to record my top speed, we're going to go over this hill over here, and see how fast we can get going on this thing compared to the Zip Singer. So, um... Yeah, we're gonna head over there now. But first off and foremost, this thing feels amazing when it comes to carving, at least when you're going at faster speeds. Right now I'm going a little bit too slow, but it feels so easy to carve on this thing. You feel so stable. All right, top speed run number one. Let's go. I'm gonna guess like 22 miles an hour. Wow, not even close. This is pathetic. We're gonna have to go rerun this. All right, my first run was 19 miles an hour. That's pretty pathetic. So we're gonna test it out one more time and see if we can't get a little bit quicker. Once again, top speed on that run was 90 miles an hour. What the heck, man? Well, hopefully the zip zinger does a little bit better than this. All right, there's the prior speed on the longboard, 90 miles an hour. We are at one miles an hour somehow. There we go, zero. And we are gonna hit up this hill for two runs. So best of two runs like I did in the longboard and see where we end up. So let's go. doesn't feel like it's going to be that fast of a run so i'm going to guess 18 19 again so we'll see all right here we go with run number two back up here flash fodder on throwing this back in the pocket no cheating let's go it's getting fucking hauling ass this time see what we did well I guess what I felt did not correlate to what it says 20 miles an hour was the fast I was able to go and for all the people out there that don't think you can do flip tricks on this just give her a quick look we'll do this real quick <laughs> 